Hello, my name is Russ. I'm going to show you uh, how to do something like this. Um, turn on calculator. That's my phone. Sure, turning on the calculator. So what that just did was um, I used Google Assistant on my phone to uh, flip a smart things virtual switch um, and that tells Trigger CMD to run calculator on my PC. Um, and uh, I'll show you how to set this up, but this time we'll do it via Alexa. Um, but the same process uh, all the way to running Kodi, but not just running it, but we can close it too by saying uh, Alexa, turn off Kodi. Um, so yeah, here's how to do it. Um, first of all, you want to go into the GUI editor and uh, browse examples and you'll find Kodi in here. Kodi, come on. Passed it, I think. There it is. Um, so you add it. And look what it's going to run. It's going to run this little script on uh, my C drive under scripts. Um, you can adjust that if you want, of course. Um, and here's the instructions where you can find the script. Um, but I've already got the script. So where's my. Okay, right here. So if I do. You can see that the, the script is a little bit different um, on the forum post than uh, my script because I, I have. Cody on the D drive. Um, yours is probably on the C drive, but just in case, here's how to check. Um, just open file location and find the uh, shortcut that runs it, and and there's the uh, there's the path to it in, on the target field. Um, copy that and uh, paste that there. Um, I just pasted the same thing over, but you get the idea. So put the, put the right um, path in there. Now, um, let's see, you notice I have three lines, not just two, one for on and off. Um, and by the way, the, uh, the virtual switch, when I flip it, it's going to send the parameter on or off to this um, batch file. Um, but if I don't send a parameter, if, if I just say Cody, um, then it'll run this batch file with uh, you know no parameter. Uh, and, and this says, if it's no parameter, just run Cody. Um, and that reminds me, see these this on and off uh, parameter needs to sort of be accepted by your command. So you got to go back into um, your Kodi command and flip this to true. Um, the examples don't, none of the examples turn on parameters by default because it's potentially a security problem. If someone crafts their batch file wrong, you could you know, run whatever uh, you, you could execute the parameter potentially, which would be a very bad idea. Um, but to pro to help protect people from that, I I default to false. So anyway, split it to true for um, your uh, smart things um, integration with Kodi. Um, so okay, now we've got our Kodi command. We can we can test it, um, and then okay, you go. Next, we want to connect it to Smart Things. So you go into Smart Things on your phone, um, and by the way, to get Trigger CMD integrated into your Smart Things, uh, I've got a forum post for that, which you can find in this example page. Just click here, and this this ex uh, explains how to do it. But high level, you install um, a smart app and a device handler with this code and this code uh, using this um, URL. And there's a video here. Here's couple videos about it um, yeah this is the the basically the developer um, URL for smart things so back to uh, smart things so I've already got a couple uh, commands in here but I want to add Cody uh, Cody 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 where is Cody it's in alphabetical order so I should be able to find this Cody there it is All right, now I should have a switch called Cody in here. Still can't find it. There it is. All right, it's not running, so if I flip it off, it's not going to do anything. But then when I flip it on, it'll run. And then when I flip it off, it'll close. Which is pretty cool in itself, even. Um, so now I can already tell uh, Google Assistant to turn it on and off. You can say, turn on Cody. Okay, there turning on the Cody. 
than Cody. Turn off, Cody. Sure, turn. Cool, huh? Um, now I can't do that with Alexa yet because Alexa hasn't discovered, um, you know, the new uh, device, Cody. Alexa, discover new devices. Starting discovery. This will take up to 20 seconds. If you haven't already, please enable the smart home skill for your smart device from the Alexa app. There's another way to do this while she does that. Um, you can go to smart home, devices, and discover. Um, but in a minute, ooh, got two of these. It's probably left over from before. Yeah, I'm sure of that. Oh, well. Discovery is complete. I found 11 smart home devices. If your Philips bulbs were not discovered, please press the button on the bridge and rerun Discovery. Okay. Now I should be able to say, oh, Alexa, uh, turn off, or turn on Cody. Oops. Let's see if she figures that out. Okay. Alexa, turn off Cody. Okay. Even though I started, she figured it out. Um, so that's that's how it works in a nutshell. Um, ask questions in the in the comments, and I'll I'll answer. Uh, thanks.